Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to create a log file or logger functionality. So first of all, we created the module logger example. We're going to use a console. This is for some purposes, but we will just use a logger example to log into a file and we will see how this is going to work. So first of all, we will create a logger. We'll create a PHP file. We place it in the logger folder and then logger. So the logger will be then the class the class will be named as a logger and then we'll extend monolog logger and that's all we need from the logger class so it's just this definition now we will have to create a handler the handler class then class handler the handler is to handle the login functionality this is where the handler comes in and handles so a logger it's just one logger but it could have many handlers one of the handlers we use is the file handler the file handler is being created in the magento framework logger handler base so this this is the handler so this is created by magento just to add some styling maybe or something and now what we need to do is to have the logger type protected logger type and then we will call it as logger uh, what we will call it is info now the logger type is the level of the logger is it info when it's info it will log everything but if you say logger warning or logger error or critical if you log information log info it won't log it because it will work from bottom to up how let's have a look at the uh, the type so we have debug we have info we have notice so for example if you specify the logger type as info so the debug won't be log it will log from this onward but if you call it error then all these won't be logged it just be it will log all these so just error and critic now let's go back to the to our work which is the handler so this is the uh, logger type and then we will define a file name and a file name will be inside var log and then we give it a name logger sample dot log so this is the file now we created the handler we created the logger but this is not ready yet to be used so we we will wire up all these inside the di xml file so we will go to the di we already have the console command as we seen it we create it here and then we will have the logger so let's go ahead and create that first of all we need the handler so the handler will be training logger example logger logger so this is what we define now we will need to give it a file system the file system will be the magento framework file system driver file so this is just a typical setup of the logger now we will have also type logger so we will have the training in fact let's go ahead and copy this so this is the logger then we will have arguments we will have a name and the name we will be logger example and this will be SSI type string and then we will have the handlers argument handlers will be an array then we will have system will be object and we will have this so this is a complete setup so now we just run the setup upgrade so we'll install magento site magento setup upgrade to install the module and clear caches now if we go ahead and go to the example we will have a null here and then we will have the logger logger then we initialize it and instead of doing this probably let's leave it this logger info logger example info now we just run it on the console now it should log this text into a log file so we we will go to the var and then inside var log then we will have the logger example we can see logger example the name and it's the level is info and then logger example info so this is the info but also we could have as many as we want like debug and then we can have error we can have critical here will be debug error critical if we run it again we can have a look at the logger log file we can have info from the first so if we just remove it and then explain it to you now if we run it again we will have the log file the log file has info has error has a critical but it doesn't have any debug because we also specify the debug here but it doesn't show the debug why is that this is because we have in the handler the level is info since we have it info then we won't log the debug if you want to log everything then you should have debug here 
in the handler then it will work from debug downwards but if you have the level from info it will work from info downwards so any debug would be ignored in the log file so it won't log it so hence you can specify the level and then you have these levels alert emergency thing these are critical error warning notice info and then you have debug if you put debug then it will log everything if you put notice it will log from notice downwards and then these won't be logged we will be skipped and since we have info the debug then comes in the log file now we have it as debug let's run it again if you look in the example so this is where we end up and you can see the difference here we have the debug here but we don't have a debug here this is because the first example we run it from info level but then the second example we run it from the debug level so this is the file system and this is how it works uh, in terms of debugging those information so the debug and then the error if you start from info then the debug won't be logged but now since we set it from the debug it will log everything there is another thing you can do as well so you can have a stream handler and this will have a console log and now new stream handler the one comes from the monolog and you can specify it as php std out and the logger debug we will add it logger debug it's not showing is not found in the logger what logger is this not this logger we will have this debug let's leave it as is now this logger push handler stream handler now let's remove, remove this right line now this will log the information in the console so let's have a look run it didn't have anything push the handler std out so it doesn't log it because we put this after we log the files so let's have a look at this now now you can see it logs in the console because it's in the std out and this is a stream handler it will give you all the information in the console as well as in the log file so this is a log file where's the log the log file this is a log file and this will give you because we have it the file system handler it will log in the file but now we put another handler the handler is a stream but it's in the console and then it will log it in the console the beautiful thing also you can use one for emails so you can set email so let's have a new handler as well mailer handler equals new native mailer handler and this is from monolog and first of all we will use from uh, to sorry to at example.com and then the subject we will call it example logger example and then we will need the to the from at example.com and then we give it logger debug and this will log everything since this is very long i'll just break it into new lines so you uh, have a clear view now we also need to push handler this logger push handler mail handler and now all these information will be emailed to this email since i use mail hog then it will be intercepted and then it will show in the emails so let's go ahead and have a look at mail test we don't have any mails here now if we run the command we got these information we've got these information in the log file as well and also we have them as emails so all information will be emailed as well so this is a logger example and this is critical the last one the second is error and then this is a debug and this is info and this is the way how you send emails or send to the app since you are in the console i don't think you will need this because this is just a you can have a output right line instead of having this handler but anyway this is just for your information and i don't think i need it so i will remove it if i want Want these to be logged in but this is only one place to have these information so you don't need to repeat it using the app so i can remove it because i'm in the console i don't need it or i can just leave it here and this is the native handler as well since we are using these here then i why not just setting up them from the uh, from the dixml file rather than doing it in this so let's start first with the ha stream handler so if we go to the class copy it and then in the di we have a handler here system and then i will have the stream put the stream here inside the logger and inside the handlers array and the second one will be the native mailer just copy it this is going to be mailer and this is going to be mailer now we use these but we have to set them 
one so we will need the type first type is this handler then arguments the first thing is stream and it sh this should be php std out and then this will be a string type string and then the other type will be level and this will be monologue logger then debug and this will be const and the same thing for the native mailer and we will leave the debug i will have another argument here and i call it from and this well first we will need two will be string then two second is subject will be string another example and then we will have from sample.com so this is the setup for the native handler we give it a email the two email and the other for the subject from email and the constant debug now what we need to do here we need to remove all these pushing handlers and all the things now we just need to have php pin magento cache flash config and then we need to run it again I will need to delete all the messages here all the emails and also need to go ahead and delete the logger example log file now we run it again now definitely we need we see these working so this is good and if we go to the email we also see these working as well and also if we go to the log file we also see these work so this is it I think and I hope you learn from the log file and I see you in next video.